Hello my friends, I'm Maria Shechkova, your real estate agent in Bay Area and today I will take you on a driving tour in Castro Valley, California. Castro Valley is an incorporated area uh, with neighbors Hayward, San Leandro and Dublin on the other side of the hill. We will see Parsons Estate, its upper Castro Valley area, five canyons and Palomares Hills. I think uh, watching the video um, will benefit uh, some buyers who consider buying a property in Castro Valley. I will try to give you some information and you will see how the neighborhood looks like. And uh, please leave me a comment if you want to see some other parts of the Bay Area. And as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Let's go. I want to start my driving tour from here. It's on the right. It's Castro Valley uh, Central Park and Community Center. Right at the entrance, it's a Veterans Memorial on the right. And then tennis courts, uh, big baseball field with lights. And uh, there is also down the hill a community center where can find lots of uh, classes available for kids through the Hayward Parks and Recreation. Also, there are a few uh, playgrounds uh, for different kids' ages and uh, water splash area on the right. In summertime, it's a favorite spot uh, for families. And also on the right, you can see that in the building, it's a home for uh, Castro Valley Chanticleer uh, Theater. They used to have uh, about, I think, four performances per year uh, before COVID, and now they just reopened and uh, they welcoming for new performances inside that building. That road in front of me, I'm gonna cross it, called a Seven Hills Road. It connects uh, Lake Chabot Road and Redwood Road. Those are two big uh, roads in Castro Valley. And the Seven Hills Road kind of divided into the upper part and lower part. I've been driving it so many times and I, I was trying to count how many hills I can see on that road. Why is it named Seven Hills? And I can definitely tell there are seven hills, but maybe even more than seven on that road. Why is this area so popular among uh, house buyers? Because a lot of houses have uh, huge lots. I think the average lot size in this area is above uh, 10,000 square feet. And uh, because of the unique architecture of the houses, they build on a hill and uh, th this makes a uh, very unusual shapes uh, of the loads and uh, unusual style of the houses. This area doesn't have homeowners associations. There is no HOA fee. The majority of the houses in this area were built in 1970s. I saw some houses built in 1950s too, and uh, few 1960s. Also, some are rebuilt, and uh, they are being freshly built on uh, existing lots in 1990s. Prices for the houses vary from uh, 1.2 for about 2,000 square feet house to 
uh, over 2.5 million for bigger houses and uh, uh, in good condition. This area called Parsons Estate because of the Parsons Park, it's on my left right now. It has a big uh, lawn area uh, and it's fully fenced, great for dogs. It has a small playground, uh, picnic area. And uh, locals enjoy when it, it's in full bloom uh, with wisteria trees, shrubs and uh, those trees on the left turning yellow. It's a beautiful little park. So I was talking about prices and let me give you a few examples. Uh, there were in this neighborhood the were house uh, 1900 square feet was sold last year for one million five hundred thousand uh, dollars uh, the war house of uh, 3100 square feet was sold for one million and eight hundred fifty thousand dollars it's very typical like look at the left a uh, huge lot some houses have uh, kind of like small wineries uh, they grow in grapes and uh, some beautiful gardens so those streets on the right are ending up into the back side of uh, Lake Chabot Park it's beautiful park with a beautiful lake trail goes around it it's uh, you it can take up to six hours to go around the lake with a lot of animals there and uh, birds and uh, you can see this street where i'm right now going to be ending into this gate with the uh, trails uh, to the lake how nice is that but be careful especially with your pets so some local people saw coyotes and a lot of them in the park a lot of houses in this area have beautiful views uh, views of the hills of, of the bay of San Francisco so these streets on the left from me where I'm going right now they backing up to the Lake Chabot park and trails let me talk about Lake Chabot park for a minute uh, it's a big park they have a lot of uh, barbecues areas uh, lawn like green green grass areas and uh, a lot of events uh, happening there so they have huge parking lots uh, with uh, five dollars uh, parking fee and also a lot of people fish in there uh, you can purchase a fishing license at the boat uh, station and also you can rent a small boat uh, and uh, have family fun at the lake here is an interesting fact about 
uh, this area and uh, a lot of parts of Castro Valley, especially in the upper Castro Valley. Uh, you can find a lot of houses built by uh, Joseph Eichler. As you know, he, he brought mid-century architecture from some custom residence residences to the uh, masses to the public public availability and a lot of houses were built here you can definitely see them um, they're very distinct uh, by the mid-century feel many houses here have uh, some unique landscaping a lot of houses have uh, bigger garages i know a lot of uh, enthusiasts uh, who build uh, some cars in their garage or have very unique hobbies some driveways are really long some houses have private roads and uh, a lot of people storing their rvs or boats or some toys uh, on the driveway or close to their houses. Kids from that area go into Shabu Elementary School and Proctor Elementary School. If you check on uh, greatschool.org website Shabu Elementary have 8 out of 10 uh, and Proctor Elementary is 9 out of 10. It's a pretty good rating for elementary schools. One school in Castro Valley uh, right now having a new uh, very popular program it's Spanish immersion program and they are accepting kids from different parts of Castro Valley. All kids uh, can go uh, to Kenyan Middle School or Creekside Middle School. They both accepting uh, kids from different parts of uh, Castro Valley. Here is Proctor Elementary School just in front of me. It's located on the Redwood Road. Right now I'm driving on the Redwood Road. It's one of the biggest roads in Castro Valley. So uh, when it goes um, towards uh, Hayward, it will become E Street and uh, you can reach uh, Freeway 580 uh, going straight. But if you go the other direction, uh, this road will take you uh, through the Redwood Canyon Golf Course uh, to the Redwood Park. And uh, uh, one way you can go all the way to Oakland Hills, uh, for example, Shabu Space and Science Center uh, on this road. And uh, uh, you can reach Maraga. So we are leaving Upper Castro Valley and we already left uh, Parsons Estate and we are on the way to see Five Canyons uh, and uh, Palomares Hills. And now there will be uh, Castro Valley High School on the right with a big beautiful campus.
now I'm on my way to 5 Canyon area. You can see little plaza, Safeway, Petco store, some small restaurants on my right. And here's the sign Five Canyons just in front of me. And there's freeway 580. Oh, there's a train. Bar train it goes in the middle of this freeway. Now it goes to Pleasanton. Uh, Castro Valley have uh, its own Castro Valley BART station with plenty of parking, and you can easily reach uh, San Francisco or San Jose uh, using the train. This area built as extension to Castro Valley, an unincorporated area, and uh, its borders uh, Fairview, which is Hayward Hills. Five Canyons, it's a hilltop community for about a thousand homes, upscale homes. And none of them over 30 years old. There are many hiking trails in this area. Like uh, this one going on my left. These homes are built in 1996. Those homes vary in sizes uh, from about 2,000 square feet to over 3,000 square feet houses. A lot of streets here have beautiful, beautiful views and views not just of the hills but also you can see Bay and San Francisco from here. A lot of people buying houses because of these impressive views. Single family houses in this area covered by homeowners association for a fee of $30 monthly. Communities built this way so it will have uh, more affordable home options like townhouses. So I will be turning right now to this area with uh, townhouses. These townhouses vary in sizes too. And uh, I saw 1400 square feet townhouses, 1600 square feet townhouses and uh, last year they were sold at about uh, 1 million uh, price.
homeowners association fee uh, for that area is about $450 per month and uh, it covers a clubhouse uh, community pool, green belt, playground, tennis courts. And those houses are on top of the hill. They must have very impressive views of the bay. As you can see, the streets are very clean, they have sidewalks, uh, they don't have power and cable wires on uh, wooden poles like uh, we can see in all the communities, everything been hidden underground. And we are back to Five Canyons Parkway. Let's discover this area more and see more houses. Five Canyons has a lot of hiking trails and access to open space. This area has different homeowners association and uh, uh, it shares wonderful neighborhood uh, facilities that include a large swimming pool, toddler pool, playground, tennis courts, basketball court, uh, recreation room that can be rented with, uh, as we know, extensive uh, uh, hill hiking trails around this neighborhood. HOA fee here is about $200 per quarter, not per month. The back side of those houses open to open space and uh, they have view of the hills. Right now hills are green, it must be so pretty. I just realized that my windshield is not very clean. I'm sorry for that. It's something to note for my next video. And now we'll do another uh, turn to the right and see what on that side so 
So, uh, what about prices? I checked last year's sales and uh, houses uh, with, uh, for example, uh, 2500 square feet. Uh, they go in at about 1.5 million, 1.6 million, and uh, houses with over 3000 square feet go um, they've been sold for 1.8 and uh, a higher most of the houses built in 1996 HOA fee for that area is about $300 per quarter. Lot sizes of uh, these properties are about 7,000 uh, square feet, 8,000 square feet, um, more like it's more air. Uh, nine or ten uh, thousand square feet and now we are climbing all the way to the top of that hill and I want to show you a uh, beautiful Five Canyons Park with uh, breathtaking views, views of San Francisco, Bay, Green Hills. So this is the Five Canyon Park. It has multiple sport fields, uh, there is baseball fields, uh, at least two soccer fields. I saw playground, uh, barbecue area and of course a lot of hiking trails. It's hard to see San Francisco today, I think it's in the fog, all the way over there. So this will conclude uh, my uh, Five Canyons tour and one more thing I want to mention that uh, kids from that area they are assigned to independent uh, school uh, in Castro Valley and uh, it's an elementary school and the uh, ratings of the school on uh, gradeschool.org is 8 out of uh, 10. And the uh, same thing applies to middle school. Uh, kids can choose go to Canyon Middle School or Creekside Middle School. And then uh, Castro Valley has one high school, uh, Castro Valley High School. And now uh, we'll, we are on our way uh, to our last destination, Palomares Hills.
Okay, now we are on our way to Palomares Hills. Uh, there is a freeway 580 on my right and uh, we're not gonna cross it but we'll turn left uh, on a Villarreal Drive. This is the only road taking you to Palomares Hills. Palomares Hills is the most east part of uh, Castro Valley and behind that hill is Dublin. And here is the sign welcoming you to Palomares Hills. Okay, that road goes all the way to the top of the hill, but yes, I think we'll turn here left and see how the neighborhood looks like. The whole development of uh, this part of the hill started in 1985 and continued uh, over the years. This part of uh, the hill um, houses built mostly in 1990s. Uh, some of them the, were built first in 1985. Most of the houses here, on average, um, about uh, 2,500 square feet. Uh, I saw some about 3,000 square feet houses and uh, there are some smaller houses too. Okay, how about prices? So last year houses here were sold uh, for about 1.3 million or uh, some bigger houses were up to 1.8 million dollars. The local school uh, is uh, Jensen Range, it's on my left right now, and uh, this is very nice school, if you check uh, greatschools.org, uh, the rating is 9 out of 10. This area is covered by Homeowners Association and uh, HOA fee is uh, about $70 per month. The HOA fee covers a uh, big size pool, a uh, kids pool, green belt, uh, spa, tennis courts and the clubhouse.
A lot of those houses are having amazing views. Views of the bay and San Francisco high rises. Those houses have a uh, load size that's about uh, 6,000 square feet, uh, some a little smaller, some a little larger, but in average I think they're about 6,000 square feet long. You can see Palomares Hills Community Park. On my left, this park has a grassy area, small playground, and the green belt starts there, close to eucalyptus trees, and then goes all the way to the right through the hills. Right now you don't see many cars or people on the streets but after schools are over for the day you will see a lot of activity. This community uh, offers not only single family houses but also it has uh, developments of uh, attached homes. We're gonna see them very soon. These townhouses were built in uh, 2002 and they have their own homeowners association. Those properties are about uh, 2600 square feet, houses on about 2000 uh, square feet lot. And uh, last year uh, they were sold uh, at the price a little over 1 million. Homeowners association fee is about uh, 290 per month. This area with attached homes have their own pool behind the fence on the left. And again, do you notice that uh, streets are very uniform, clean, they have sidewalks and they don't have uh, hanging power lines, cable lines uh, on the wooden poles, everything hidden on the ground. Most of the houses in this area were built in 1999. They belong to a bigger homeowners association 
with a $17 per month fee. This area has amazing view of the canyons as well. All sizes are from about 2,000 square feet to all the way over 3,000 square feet. Last year houses here were sold uh, at the price about 1 million 500 and over uh, to one million eight hundred nine hundred thousand dollars lot sizes for this area is uh, about five thousand square feet uh, 6,000 and uh, sometimes much more. I can add that this is a very tight and friendly community. I know they have very nice events at the clubhouse. They have some classes for kids like tennis class, swim class and I heard about Zumba and yoga lessons at the clubhouse too. And now we'll stop at another uh, place with attached homes, not single family homes. This area uh, homes range from about uh, 1400 square feet to uh, about 1700 square feet attached houses. The lot size is about uh, 2,000 square feet. This area covered by two homeowners association and uh, they have extra pool. Uh, you'll see it on the right soon and the uh, association fee will be combined of two fees of $70 for uh, Lamar's Hills HOA and uh, $300 for uh, this area homeowner association. And here again 
I'll be passing the Palomar's Hills Community Park on the right. Before COVID, there were so many uh, classes for toddlers on this green area. And on my way back, I want to stop by the community center. It's gonna be on my way, uh, on my left. And uh, I don't know. We're probably not gonna see much, but there's a Olympic-sized pool, a few tennis courts, picnic area, clubhouse. And as you can see, there's a cleaning crew. They've been working here. This is clubhouse on the right. And behind the fence over there is a Olympic sized pool. And it's all covered by $70 monthly uh, homeowner association fee. And this will conclude my driving tour. Uh, please leave me a comment if you want to see some other areas, uh, if you like something in that video or you want me to change something in my future videos, I would really appreciate that. And uh, I hope you didn't fall asleep. And I really hope that this video will help buyers who consider buying property in Castro Valley. Now you know how it looks like. Uh, what are the neighborhoods? Thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about buying or selling properties in Bay Area, I'll be happy to help you.